Does it really make sense to go to level 3 without first completing level 1? You see, you've been trying to control reality for a while now, but it doesn't seem to be going right for you. And what's probably happening is you're trying to jump to level 3 without first completing level 1. And throughout the whole manifestation space, rarely do I ever see anyone talk about conquering level 1. You're probably even thinking, wait, hold up there's a level one and i'm here to tell you there is and it's been staring at you in the mirror your whole life you see if i could map out a path to reality mastery it would go like this control over ego control over self control over reality and you could say mastering the ego is level one and it is a prerequisite before you have any chance of controlling reality and by the end of this video you will have four tools to master the ego which will set you on a quick path to reality mastery. Now, arguably one of the world's most famous occultists, but people don't know he was an occultist, Leonardo da Vinci said, one can have no smaller or greater mastery than the mastery of oneself. Now, the moment you master the ego, it is the starting point of any form of controlling reality and your attempts at controlling reality will no longer be attempts but they'll be child's play, light work. However, before we can actually master the ego, let's get a clear understanding on what exactly the ego is. What is the ego? The ego goes by many names across many different cultures. To the Buddhists, it's the monkey mind. To the spiritualists, it's the lower self. To scientists, it's the reptilian brain or the basal ganglia. To the religious, it's the devil. All these perspectives are speaking one truth, just with different names and they're all correct. You see, when we speak of the ego and the esoteric, we're not referring to some socially disliked characteristic. The ego is the aspect of you that is locked to the physical plane. Even psychology goes into the fact that the ego is the aspect of you that revolves around the five physical senses. Your sight, your hearing, your taste, your touch and your smell. Metaphysically speaking, the ego is the vehicle of the spirit being the driver. Your spirit is driving the vehicle that is your body because you're not your body. You're simply animating the avatar, which is the ego. Think about it like playing a game, whether you're playing Assassin's Creed, Sims, GTA. You maneuver the avatar. You're not the avatar. You're the one controlling the avatar, right? And without getting too deep into it, you are God's avatar. The avatar has been programmed by society to like a certain kind of music, a certain football team. You know, certain clothes have certain views on the world. And here's the funny thing about the ego. It can only conceive of its own existence and nothing beyond, which is why it's kind of an enemy to the aspect of you that is spiritual. Now, the ego seeks to serve its base desires immediately, like an animal. Because it seeks to do it immediately, it can get out of control. Now, the same way before having, you know, an animal as a pet, it has to be domesticated, is the same way that you have to tame your ego, or the truth is, it will tame you. Now, one of my favorite books, The Art of War, speaks quite esoterically, right? I don't think it was intended to be esoteric, but, you know, the books on warfare, but there's something extremely esoteric about this. Sun Tzu says, if you know the enemy and know yourself, you don't need to fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself, but not the enemy, for every win you gain, you will also suffer a defeat. If you don't know yourself or the enemy, you will lose in every battle. Now, the ego is your only enemy in reality. It desires to keep you from unifying yourself with your God self. And so it will hypnotize you with these lower vibrational beliefs and emotions. How to master the ego. Like I said at the start of the video, before mastering reality, you must first master the ego. Now, to put it simply, the taming of the ego can be reduced to any of these statements. An ability for you to exercise control over your bodily desires using the will of your mind, or the ability for you to direct your mind and exercise power over what the ego wants to do. Now, any time that you put the ego in a circumstance where it wants one thing and you serve it what you want to serve it, that's control. And that's exactly what must be honed in on. Here's method one to mastering the ego, meditation. There's no way you can begin any form of self-mastery without practicing meditation. If you've been trying to create reality without consistently meditating, that's like trying to pour into a cup that's already full. Meditation is the emptying that's required. Meditation can be seen as just turning away from the outer world and focusing on the inner world, right? The ego is so used to moving around and being stimulated by the environment that when you sit still for a long duration of time, it begins to crave that stimulation. Now, according to marketing experts, 
the average person sees between 4,000 to 10,000 ads in a single day and the average smartphone user receives over 40 notifications in a day. Now you have to understand all of these aspects let's say act as some sort of drug no wonder many don't meditate it's because they're addicted to stimulation now <laughs> if you've tried to meditate you'll know that your body will begin to twitch or you'll get a random desire to itch right it's like what the ego wants to move around and be stimulated now the ability for you to hold stillness and keep your eyes closed is the beginning of the dominance of the ego because you're breaking it into submission by saying even though you want to do this this is what we're going to do now just sitting in pure silence and pure stillness with your eyes closed for 10 minutes of day will actually help you control reality more than any manifestation technique you've tried because as you begin to do this watch what your ego begins to say to itself it will say just open your eyes there's something in front of you or oh, i think the alarm forgot to go off or just just check your phone right it will begin to kind of give you these little prompts to try and break away now me personally i meditate in the sauna because it's an extremely uncomfortable environment for the body and if i could maintain perfect stillness in there it helps me break the ego into further submission now surely right without sounding too woo woo you have to understand meditation is the beginning to god right you know in the bible says be still and know that i am god right meditation is the gateway to god the silence is that it's your connection to the fourth dimension it's your aspect to go within your inner dimension because that's what happens when you go within now science has hundreds of benefits for meditation i'll link a science-based article showing the benefits of meditation in the description method number two to mastering the ego intermittent fasting now fasting allows you to deprive the ego of one of its major base desires which is to eat now intermittent fasting is the practice of fasting for a certain period so eating is blocked out during certain times of the day me personally i do you know 24 to 26 hour intermittent fast but it sounds crazy right but just start small just literally start small because it's all about exercising that control now your ego wants to be satisfied and when you tell it no not yet it has no choice but to listen because remember the whole point of all of this right with every exertion of control we are essentially priming the ego to take commands from us right which makes programming your mind much easier because if you can give your body you know basic instructions that is building small steps for the moment where you come and you want to say now i want to manifest my first 10k month or i want to manifest this career or this partner whatever it may be now one of the world's greatest mystics rumi said fasting blinds the body in order to open the eyes for the soul metaphysically speaking as you begin to fast you're moving away from the ego which allows for more focus and identity alignment with your spirit which is why it's considered spiritual to fast and if you see muslims during the holy period of ramadan like the whole spiritual aspect of fasting is amazing for their connection now there's hella benefits for the body right from intermittent fasting from reduced brain fog to increase and enhancement in brain cognition now once again like i said i'll leave another science-based article in the description because i know how all of this can sound it can sound very woo woo and you know what i'm saying so be sure to read that in the description method number three to mastering the ego silence now the art of silence has many benefits silence is the gateway to god and i said that earlier but like i said topic for another time silence deprives the ego of an inherent desire which we all have and which we've all had from being babies which is to be heard right attention we cry for affection and attention and as we grow that desire still remains hidden right but because you're an adult you think you are better than that but no it's just suppressed because look around people love the ability to express themselves and be heard by others look at me i'm on this youtube video right now robert green touches on our inherent narcissism right and our self sense of grandiosity in the laws of human nature great book we all want to hear our own voice we all like the sound of that and we all like to bathe in our you know auditorial contributions to society we all like to put our voice out there really and truly now silence puts that to a halt why do you think monks right whenever you see monks they're practicing silence it's all ego depriving right and that's what it comes down to the practice of silence disconnects you from one of your most primal urges which is to be social because that's how we evolve now practice going through periods of the day where you don't speak to anyone you may live with them just be silent 
tell them that you're mastering reality i'm not going to be talking later now if it helps the best time to do this is in the morning right and this even goes down to responding to messages on social media just don't do it right don't do it method number four to mastering the ego establish your word as law now this is the final one and it is crucial because the mind and the body are partners when there's harmony within there's harmony without when there's disharmony within yeah collapse finished finito the mind and the body keeps score of your ability to follow through on the ideas that you have and the words you tell yourself for example i'm gonna wake up at 7 a.m you've now set an instruction that must be followed for trust to be built between the mind and the body if you don't follow through on what you tell yourself you're gonna do then the mind and the body begin to kind of get a break in the chain of trust and then it makes our ultimate aim which is to control reality way more difficult than it has to be i mean how do you expect yourself to manifest a certain career a certain financial level a certain goal a certain person if you can't wake up at 7 a.m when you tell yourself you're going to now this isn't anything about waking up at 7 a.m but once again it's following through on the word that you tell yourself because the truth is the more trust that there is between the mind and the body the more harmony and the more control you get to establish over the ego which will only be beneficial when it comes to striving for the productivity of your main desire which is to manifest the mind is used to getting away with a lot of promises that it, <laughs> it never intends to keep but we need to stop that right whether it's waking up at a certain time going through your finances saying that you're going to do some work calling your mom or paying your friends back it is law it must be followed through on so we can build that trust now you have the tools don't start tomorrow but start today because time's an illusion right and the only time that exists is now so begin mastering the ego a problem with all the manifestation content out there is that it's all woo woo non-practical advice and that's a major issue because i'm not trying to just know about all this stuff i'm trying to use it and integrate it into my life and that's exactly why i created the hacking reality newsletter currently there are 1800 people tapping in every sunday receiving practical actionable esoteric tips to control their reality if you want to manifest more money more success and more inner peace practically with esoteric secrets of the universe then link in the description.